You wouldn't think water was in short supply, given the amount that's used to make things grow where nothing should. Here's the primary source, the Arabian Gulf. Vast quantities of seawater are sucked in every day by energy-intensive, environmentally destructive desalination plants. The fact that this is just about as close as you can get to a desalination plant without a huge amount of bureaucracy and identity processing speaks volumes for just how crucial these installations are to this region. Without them, there would be no drinking water, the taps would just run dry, and life in the Gulf just could not exist in the way that it does. In this parched, arid land, you don't expect this, a business selling four million cut flowers a year, grown not abroad, but in chilled glasshouses in Qatar. A borehole supplies the water. The problem is the ancient aquifer it comes from is nearly depleted, thanks to over-extraction across the country. Growth uh, in population is uh, expected at, um, at a high rate for the upcoming years, especially with the um, uh, major events that we would uh, um, host here in uh, the upcoming years. So this can be a big problem if we uh, don't use the, uh, the available water in a reasonable way. Now they're piloting a soil-free hydroponic project which recycles water with impressive results. The idea is to encourage the region's farmers to adopt similar systems. Believe it or not, this is another source of water, raw sewage. It comes from a workers' camp outside Doha, where all wastewater is recycled, utilising specially designed tape. It's a perfect home for bacteria. On here, if you looked at it under a microscope, you'd see millions and millions of micro perforations. So essentially, this is giving what happens in nature a perfect uh, environment to do in our, in our concrete tanks or in our uh, containers, our 40 foot containers. The process ends with clear water that runs into an adjacent farm, giving life to new growth. On the larger scale, more and more sewage treatment plants are being built in Qatar recycling water that can be used for irrigation. But there's a long way to go. These trucks are dumping raw sewage into holding lakes in the desert, where it lies untreated, a potential water supply evaporating into the hot desert air. The remarkable thing is, nature takes its course, and the wastewater becomes clean enough for a flock of flamingos to take up residence. Nick Clark, Al Jazeera, Qatar.